Hi, I'm Frank, Dr. Bailey's son. I wanted to just do a short little video, kind of simplifying complete skincare the way that I understand it as a layman. Uh, my mom does a great job of explaining it with the science and the details. I just wanted to take a chance to maybe try to provide another spin, another perspective on it, especially for us guys that really need things simple sometimes. There's cleanse, correct, hydrate and protect, right? So cleanse is the first one. That's where you're getting all the gunk out, off your skin, out of your pores, and you're removing any grease from the day, any products you've had like sunscreen or moisturizers. You get all of it off, so you start with a completely blank slate. And then you move to correct. This may be a not so important step for you because maybe you don't have parts of your facial skin that you want to work on correcting, but if you do, and if you have a couple corrective products, this is when you apply them because they are so important that you want them to get through to your skin without anything in the way. So you put those on right after just wiping the board clean. So those will go on and that may be a serum or uh, other typically very thin uh, product. And then from the next step, you go to hydrate. Now you'll notice that corrective products are typically thinner like i was saying and that hydrating products are a little bit thicker like a lotion or an oil those go on top because if you put them underneath then the corrective product won't be able to get through as easily and it won't be as effective so when you put the hydrating product on top of the corrective product those are typically your moisturizers your lotions and they will soak in right behind the corrective product and then you've got your protective step now that is mainly sunscreen and sunscreen, there's several types out there, but I mean, while I might be a bit biased because of what my mom has told me over the years, the really important component is mineral zinc oxide. And mineral sunscreens are what I use, and I find that very helpful. Knowing that, I also might use water resistant if I'm about to go out and do some activities, some sports or something. However, if I'm not, I want something thin. And something thin is really great for when I do have either a beard or just some facial hair, and I wanna get it in there. Um, it's not goopy or gunky, it, it'll uh, get through the hairs, and you gotta get it on your fingers though and just rub it in there. And, and that has worked really well for me. Of course, I'll add a hat, some sunglasses, depending on what I'm up to, and I typically will cover up the arms too. So. That has really helped me to this point. I'm 29 years old. I do get comments every now and then about having great skin and that's all because I have followed these steps for a while now. I hope that makes sense. I hope that's simplified it in a way for you. Uh, if, if not, please leave a comment with a question or maybe you have found something also very helpful that I touched on that you'd like to bring to light and then go ahead, put it in the comments. And of course, if you found this helpful, and you want to share it, please do and subscribe to the channel because my mom, she puts out a lot of great stuff. And if you're looking for keeping your skin healthy, this is a great way to do it. So I hope it helps and I hope you have a great day. Bye.